Hello students, welcome to another virtual session for Geography Class 7 and today we are going to discuss Chapter 2, Inside Our Earth. It is quite an interesting topic, I think you all will enjoy it. The topics that we are going to cover today are Number 1, About the Earth Number 2, Interior of the Earth Number 3, Crust And Number 4, Continental Crust versus Oceanic Crust Number 5, Mental and Number 6, Core. The remaining topics we are going to cover in the next session. The Earth or Homeland is a dynamic planet which means it is constantly undergoing changes inside and outside. Our planet is the third planet from the Sun and the only place we know of so far that is inhabited by living things. While the Earth is the only fifth largest planet in the solar system it is only world in our solar system with liquid water on the surface although only slightly larger than nearby venus earth is the biggest of the four planets closest to the sun all of which are made up of rock and metal the name earth is at least thousand years old all the other planets except for earth were named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. However, the name Earth is a Germanic word, which simply means the ground. The radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles and in kilometers, 6,371 kilometers. Earth is the biggest of the terrestrial planet and the fifth largest planet overall. A fun fact, it takes about 8 minutes for light from the sun to reach our planet. To understand the next topic, we also need to understand how the earth was actually formed. The universe came into existence around 13.8 billion years ago after the Big Bang. When the solar system settled into its current layout about 4.5 billion years ago, earth formed when the gravity pulled in swirling gases and dust to become the third planet from the sun. At this time, Earth was a hot hell, constantly being hit by asteroids. But gradually, the Earth cooled down and the surface formed a thin crust. Like its fellow terrestrial planets, Earth has a central core, a rocky mantle and a solid crust. After the Earth cooled down and formed the crust, the inside of the earth, hot rock continued to swirl about, moving the crust from below and breaking it apart. This process is called plate tectonic and it is still happening right now. You can also say that the crust of the earth consists of separate giant plate that moves around. As they meet and crumble, they create mighty mountains or violently plunge back deep down into earth, creating deep trenches. This is the way highest place on earth was formed, the Mount Everest, and the deepest, the Marina Trench. From our perspective, earth's mountain and trenches are mighty indeed, but when you look at the earth and compare, you can see how tiny they actually are. The part we stand on is the crust and it is about 50 kilometers thick, though it can vary between 5 to 70 kilometers. By the way, the deepest hole ever drilled by a man is 12.26 km in Russia. After the crust comes the mantle. It is a silicon rocky shell around 2,900 km thick. The mantle consists of the upper mantle and the lower mantle. The upper mantle has different regions too. It is the upper part which is viscous and it carries the crust which is called the lithosphere. After that comes the asthenosphere, which consists of less mobile, mostly solid material. The lower mantle reaches deep down to the outer core of the earth. Earth's outer core is a liquid layer of iron and nickel, about 2266 km thick. Temperature varies from 4000 degrees Celsius to 5700 degrees Celsius. And in the center of the inner core, it is mostly solid a ball made up of an iron and nickel alloy. It has a radius of 1200 km. It is 70% of the size of the moon. And the temperature here is 
equal to the surface of the sun. And now to give you some perspective, this is the small layer that we call the crust and this is where we live. And this is a tiny area in which life can exist. And this brings us to our last topic, which is difference between the continental crust and the oceanic crust. First parameter is thickness. The continental crust is much thicker. It is between 40 to 70 kilometers. However, the oceanic crust is only 5 to 10 kilometers thick. With respect to composition, continental crust are mostly composed of different type of granites. Geologists are often call it as Sial. In Sial, Si stands for silicate and Al stands for aluminium. Oceanic crust, on the other hand, are composed of different kinds of puzzled rock. Geologists often call this as Sima. In Sima, Si stands for silicate and Ma is for magnesium. The density of the continental crust is 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter while organic crust is 3 grams per cubic centimeter that makes oceanic crust higher in density. Continental crust are more than 4 billion years old. Some of the section of continental crust are nearly as old as the earth itself. Oceanic crust is seldom more than 200 million years old. The oldest existing ocean crust is in the Ionian Sea, which is a part of eastern Mediterranean basin at about 270 and up to 340 million years. Continental crust are rarely destroyed and recycled in the process of subduction. On the other hand, ocean crust is constantly formed at the mid-ocean ranges and it is destroyed in the subduction zones. And this brings us to the end of our topic. Thank you for joining today's session. I hope you all are doing good. We'll see you in the next session. Bye-bye.